Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello there, little fella. Do I know you? Where are you going in such a hurry? We'd always thought the deadline for going public was the publication of the budget, since we've spent more money than we can hide. But the budget comes out in two weeks. I don't suppose I could convince you to sit on this for two weeks. There's no such thing as two weeks in the news business. And I can't appeal to your sense of what's in the nation's best interest. Well, I always thought the truth was in the nation's best interest. One of them gets bumped, or a lack of billiard ball on a pool table. and is knocked into a different orbit. Now, if this comet continues on its path around the sun and keeps its present course, sometime on August 16th, roughly a year from now, there's a chance that we might have impact. So for the past eight months, the United States and Russia have been building the largest spaceship ever constructed. It's being built in orbit around the Earth. We call it the Messiah. And right now, a team of American astronauts and one Russian are at Cape Canaveral in Florida. In two months, they will leave on the shuttle Atlantis to board the Messiah. This is the crew that will stop the comet. Uh, Jenny Lerner, MSNBC. Son of a bitch. Um, Mr. President, why wasn't this announcement made sooner? Well, until we knew we could build the rocket and the comet could be intercepted, we saw no reason to alarm the planet. Oh, sir. <laughs> you have another question, Ms. Lerner? Yeah. Um, is, is there a connection between the comet and the recall of American troops from abroad? Our fighting men and women are coming home because we felt it prudent, in light of domestic security <laughs> concerns, to have them available. Although I certainly hope we don't need to use them. Next question. Actually, Mr. President, if, if, if just one final question, sir. Um, MSNBC has learned that Secretary Rittenhouse did not leave for the reasons announced by your administration. In fact, isn't it true, sir, that not everyone in your administration is convinced that the Messiah will save us? Secretary Rittenhouse served his country with full devotion. He resigned for personal reasons. Now, I can promise you this, Ms. Lerner, all of you, everyone in this room and everyone listening to my voice, that at some point over the next 10 months, all of us will entertain our worst fears and concerns. But I can also promise you this, <laughs> life will go on. We will prevail. It's Leo Biederman. <laughs> I said it again. Leo, is he talking about you? He I'm is, isn't he? Why were the Russians brought into the construction phase of this mission and not in the other... Janie, get the door. Well, we have the technology to build the ship. They have the technology to make it go.
Propelled by 500,000 pounds of liquid fuel, the shuttle crew heads toward their initial destination. When the crew enters the Messiah, they will find a payload of eight nuclear devices that will eventually be used to blow up the comet. The Messiah. So, in the soft limestone of Missouri, we've been preparing a network of immense caves. They're almost finished. And we can put a million people in them. And that million people can survive there underground for two years until the air clears and the dust settles. But the cave is more than a dormitory. It's our new Noah's Ark. We're storing seeds and seedlings, plants, animals, enough to start over. On August 10th, a computer will randomly select 800,000 Americans to join the 200,000 scientists, doctors, engineers, teachers, soldiers, and artists who have already been chosen. Other countries are preparing similar caves along whatever lines they feel are best to preserve their way of life. This is ours. Beginning tonight and continuing until the crisis passes, I am declaring a state of martial law. The armed forces and the National Guard are working with local law enforcement. A national curfew begins at midnight tonight. Wherever you are, go home. Stay off the roads after sunset. Hello, America. This computer-enhanced radar image from Houston shows how the detonation succeeded, however, did not destroy the comet. There are now two pieces, one six miles wide, the other a mile and a half. Look at the Chilean earthquake. You realize that it was so big it actually rocked the planet Earth as a consequence of that 8.8 .8 earthquake. In our lifetime, we could very well see one of these cities destroyed. We will actually see this happen, perhaps. San Francisco, Los Angeles, Tokyo. Look, here's the tectonic plates. He said, Tokyo, this is today. This is earthquakes, just today, okay? Tokyo. All right, now look, March 11th is this Friday. It's coming into alignment. You want to call it a comet, you want to call it an asteroid, you want to call it a brown dwarf, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's causing effects on the planet. There's going to be another shift of the axis, I'm sure of it. How big it's going to be, I don't know. But it's going to be bigger than the Chile earthquake last year, I'm sure of that. Please just get out of those areas.
Two or three meteors just impacted. 